Bye, happy Tuesday. Oops. Today I'm doing another run keeper training run. It's, uh, it's not that long, I think it's 30 minutes total, which uh, it breaks down to 24 minutes of running and six minutes of walking. So it's broken up into intervals. I'm gonna see how I feel during the run. If I feel good, I may just do the same thing again, run straight out and then do a separate run all the way back. But I'll see how I feel during it, whether I, uh, Turn around the halfway point and come back or just go all the way straight yeah. out. I start out too fast. And it's got a it's a steady pace they want me to do, so I gotta gotta remember to you know ease into it. Don't start out so fast. Because then I feel like uh you know I'm like a minute in, I'm like man I'm already dying, so I slow it down and yeah, I feel better. All right, second walk interval. And I'm trying to talk myself into going all the way out and running all the way back. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I can say I'm not really feeling it today, but I gotta, like, mind over matter. I'm just gonna keep talking myself into it. fourth interval and I haven't turned around yet so that's a good sign also if this run is a half hour out my lunch hour is only an hour that's why they call it a lunch hour right so if I go a half hour out I can't walk back or I won't be back in an hour uh, I gotta run back <laughs> kind of tricking myself all right well that ends my last uh, walking interval so I'm turning around here and now I have to run back in order to make it back within my lunch hour. Oh. I made it. I ran for 30 minutes back. So it was a 30 minute training session with intervals out that way. And then 30 minute run back. I just went straight through a very slow pace, but I don't know. Both of my legs hurt in multiple places on the way back. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing that, adding a run on top of the training because you know, it hurts. I may be defeating the benefits of the training. You know, if I want you to do the intervals and I'm not letting myself recover, I'm pushing myself too hard and then I'm not recovering between trainings. I think this overall was slower this time, so uh, we'll see. I don't know what Thursday's workout uh, training looks like, but I may just stick to the training from here on out. This is the last quest bar I have. I wanted to do a quick review on how I use these calorie tracking apps. This one is Lose It. My Fitness Pal has basically the same kind of setup. This is my day up, up really only for breakfast. So I've entered what I had for breakfast. Breakfast it was my supplements. Um, here I had this uh, the oatmeal with the peanut uh, powdered peanut butter. 
um, on Lose It, I can click over to My Day and this tab here, Nutrients, and it shows me the breakdown of protein, fats, and carbs. Protein is the dark, like the purple. Carbs here is the light blue, and fat is like the orange color. So you can see from this meal that I had first thing, it's like basically 50% <laughs> carbs, more fat, and not so much protein. So when I was trying to decide what to have for lunch, I took a look at this. And seeing that I had this many carbs already, I decided the apple that I normally have, I usually have a Granny Smith apple with the peanut butter, probably not the best thing to do because it's also a lot of carbs and I'm already at basically 50% carbs. So I, I looked around and I found uh, I had my, my last Quest protein bar. So I decided to take a look and see what happens if I put that in for lunch. So I'll go back here. Uh, here's lunch. So basically what I'm going to do is add this in. Uh, I can always delete it later. I'm trying to find the last, uh, the last time I had a, that Quest bar right there. Uh, so with Lose It, you can go back through your previous meals. Uh, so here I'm just selecting Quest Bar. I'm adding that for lunch. I go back to my day, and all of a sudden I see right away, wow, you know, it really chopped into my carbs. Those Quest Bars don't have a lot of carbs in them. Um, it chopped down the fat, and protein got, I think, a little bit more. What I shoot for here is not specific percentages. I actually try to just get equal portions of the three. I know that's not what a lot of people do. Some people will go with like, you know, they want like 40, 40, 20, they'll have specific percentages. For me, I just want to make sure that I get enough of each macronutrient. So I'm really just trying to go for thirds, if at all possible. So now I see that that, you know, adding that Quest Bar helped. If I go back, I can actually test my dinner, which I believe, um, if I pick last Friday, uh, so these are what I had last Friday for dinner was Italian dressing with chicken, uh, salad, here's my supplements, and then later on I also have a uh, protein shake. So if I add all this, go back to my nutrients, bam, look at that. I can see right away now, I plan out the rest of my day. I know that I can have the Quest Bar, I can have a salad with chicken, and then I can do my protein shake later, and the percentages come out. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know if you can see, protein 34%, carbs 38%, fat 29%. I know that's probably more fat than a lot of people like, but again, I just like to see this split up into thirds. Um, so that's how I use this. That's how I use lose it to, as the day goes on, to find what I need to eat to get my macronutrients where I want them.